If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, guys, go over to ringsidecollectibleswrestlingfigures.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. Get in on all the epic WWE action figures, accessories, play sets, and much, much more over at their website using promo code MDTOYS to save some money. What is good everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have another 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the brand new Elite Series 72 Rey Mysterio and Velveteen Dream figures from Mattel. These are obviously the last two figures in the set that we have to review, so you guys know what that means for this video. We are going to review both figures and we are going to rank Elite Series 72 from worst to best in my personal opinion. So that gives you a reason to stick around to the end to find out which figure is the worst in the set and which figure is the best in the set. At least according to MDT. Before we get started, guys, I do want to give a huge shout out to... Oh, it's my new cat, Ellie. You guys know Allie. This is Ellie. Ellie, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing, Brad? Oh. So we actually rescued Allie. She was actually a homeless cat that was starving out in the cold at a gas station on the way home from our vacation in Disney. We went to Universal Studios on Friday. I attended a friend's wedding on Saturday, and then after the wedding on Saturday night around 8 p.m., we headed home. It was a 10 and a half hour drive, about five hours from home. We went to this marathon gas station in this little, you know, just podunk town on the way home, and we ended up finding her. You know, she came right up to us. She was very tiny. She looked kind of, you know, you know, malnourished a little bit. She was dirty and everything. And uh, me and Faith's wife obviously saw her. She came right up to us and we had to, you know, we, it was just in our heart. We wanted to take her home and, and, you know, make her a part of our family. And here she is and she is, you know, growing into the family, getting used to our other two animals. And she is, she is amazing, man. She's a blessing. She rode all the way home perfectly and we're happy to have her as our little blessing here in our home. So, introduced to Ellie. Now we have Ellie, Allie, and Charlie. She is obviously named after a from Stranger Things because the last park that we went to was Universal Studios and you know they have all the Stranger Things connections and all that stuff so we wanted to name her after Eleven and me and Victoria are big Stranger Things fans so there you go. But anyways guys let's get back into the review. I did want to give a huge shout out to Ringside Collectibles for making this review possible. Sending us this our way these Elite 72 figures and we did want to get into the review guys spinning it around we do have a beautiful images of Ray and Velveteen Dream on the back you have other images of Dream and Mysterio you have a little bio reads if you'd like to read you can pause it now. We have the rest of the figures in the wave that we've already reviewed. You have another image of Mysterio and Dream, and on the front, we've already covered, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and crack these guys out of their packaging. Let's get through the review, rank Elite Series 72, and see where all these figures sit, and go ahead and crack them out of their packaging. Alright guys, so here's Elite 72 Velveteen Dream and Rey Mysterio out of their packaging and I have found some interesting things out about this Velveteen Dream. There are some cool things about it and there are some things that I absolutely hate about both figures. Psych, not really. I mean, the Rey Mysterio is pretty solid. We're going to get into all the details of both action figures here today, guys. And you already know how this section works. We're going to cover all of the accessories of Rey Mysterio and then cover Rey himself. And then we'll come back and hit Velveteen Dream's accessories and then Velveteen Dream himself. A lot of controversy surrounding this Velveteen Dream figure, and we're going to dive into all of those things here in this review, break it down before we rank Elite 72 from worst to best. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive into Rey Mysterio's accessories. So with Rey Mysterio, guys, you don't get very much indeed. You know, you see what you get right here, and it's literally exactly what we got with his last figure, right? I mean, this is the exact t-shirt, and we got interchangeable hands, but this time I think they did fix the problem that they had with the last one, which was the massive green hands. They actually fixed it and gave us his older hands it does look like so that is very nice you have the interchangeable fist and then on the figure you have the ass grabbing hands or you know just the reaching out hands you know like uh, he used to do in the old Smackdown intro but you do get the cut off Rey Mysterio t-shirt that we saw with his last figure that we got of Rey Mysterio it has the nice Rey Mysterio silhouette of the mask his eyes Rey Mysterio will appear on the back it does say greatest mask of all time with the G the mask the O the A and the T there and it is one of those rubber shirt molds that we've seen a hundred times I like these better than the one that we got with uh, you know 
Roderick Strong, so that is cool to see. But, I mean, that's pretty much it for Rey Mysterio's accessories, guys. Nothing too over the top, nothing too crazy. So, with that being said, we're ready to move on to Rey Mysterio himself. So, getting into the Elite 72 Rey Mysterio, guys, we have this brand new head sculpt, which I think does look like Rey Mysterio. I like the smile going on there. I love the mask color. I love the mohawk that we got going on. One thing that would probably make this figure better is maybe add like a little 5 o'clock shadow type deal to the back of his hair just to kind of give it some depth or something. I think that'd be cool. Maybe add some white straps to the back of the mask or green straps would look cool as well. I'm not sure if that would be accurate, but it would probably make the figure stand out a bit more. I love that they have the strap actually painted here so it actually stands out. I love the mask. I think the mask is really nice, the green and stuff. Uh, maybe going over all the green areas with Mod Podge, like gloss Mod Podge would make that stand out a little bit more as well. But I'm digging the head sculpt. I think it looks pretty good. Going down into the torso, this is that new slash old Rey Mysterio articulation that we got going on. We've seen this with the Elite 32 Rey Mysterio, and we saw it with the last two Elite Rey Mysterios as far as the build is concerned, and I love it. I love the way these Rays are built. I like these much more. The tights Rey Mysterios with the boots like this are much better than the long pants ones in my opinion, so I love to see that. I love the armbands here with the crosses and all the paint detail going on. It just really pops off. When you have these three colors all contrasting together, going with the Rey Mysterio figures, I think they look excellent. You have the black wristbands going on, all the tattoo work. Uh, these are the ass-grabbing hands that I was talking about right there, just reaching out. Uh, like I guess is the best way to describe it is literally uh, how he reaches out in the you know Friday Night Smackdown, and I guess. But anyways, I love the way the gloves look. I think that's an excellent mold. They have some details going on and some sculpt going on on them, so I'm really happy with the way these turned out. Maybe adding some green details or black details would make those stand out a little bit more, but I like the solid white. I think it works out pretty well. Very tight joints on these guys. All the Rey Mysterio's figures have that. Going down, you have the green crotch, so he has the green underwear going on. On the right, you have the Rey 619 down the side, which looks really good. I love the stripes going down with the gold accent. Really brings out everything in total. On the side, you have the greatest mask of all time again going down the side there. Just really nice, man. I love the way this Rey turned out. This, I definitely like this one better than the last two. I'll, I'll go ahead and say this. This Rey Mysterio is a lot better than the last two. And one thing I'm actually just noticing, guys, is they left off his goatee. They did not paint or sculpt his goatee, and I'm not sure if that's accurate or not, but the picture on the back of the packaging, he has a goatee, so that's maybe something to include. Maybe you could paint that on if you're not feeling that. Going down into the boots, I really love these boots, man. The stripes look really good, and then you do have the Rey Mysterio logo there, the 619 logos on the back of the boots, and just his boots are fantastic. You guys know I love the boots. Eh? Like, I'm a big boot guy. I'm weird. I'm a shoe fanatic, so when, uh, you know, wrestlers come out, I really love to, you know, look at the ring gear they're wearing in the, in the boots if they stand out, and Rey Mysterios do stand out. I like the way they look a lot with the stripes and everything, and I'm glad to have them here in figure form, so I did want, I should make a boot video, like my favorite boots of all time, but I don't know. People will be like, you're running out of ideas, Brad, but I really do. I, I really do want to make that video, my favorite boots, or the best boots in all of wrestling in figure form. That'd be a cool video idea, but anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for Rey Mysterios figure. I really love it. I really enjoy it. It feels really solid in the hand and everything. If you guys are wondering, he is on ball joints, so that is something to take note of. But now that we've covered Rey Mysterio, guys, let's get into some Rey Mysterio Elite Figure Comparisons. So on to Rey Mysterio Elite Figure Comparisons, guys, we do have the brand new Elite 72 in the middle, while on the left-hand side we have the Elite 69, and then on the right we have the Elite 67 Rey Mysterio. So they're churning out Rey Mysterio Elites left and right, and I did want to compare it to his most recent figure since returning. Besides that network spotlight figure that has pants, I wanted to compare it to the ones that are the same mold or whatever. But you guys can't see that it's basically like a recolor of this Elite Rey Mysterio over here. I think something that would be really cool is maybe buying a second one of these, switching up the head sculpt, because this head sculpt is much better than this one. Maybe repainting uh, this head sculpt to match this one, and then adding the armbands up here, over here, maybe adding some wrist gauntlets over here. Well, I have these white ones over here, so that's just something to take note of. I don't know what I'm thinking. But I do like uh, this one in the middle better than this one, most definitely. I like the black, green, and gold, and white going on. I like the boots better. It's just a better figure overall, so I definitely like the brand new Elite 72, so if you missed this Rey Mysterio, definitely grab this one. It's a lot better in my personal opinion, but I do like this flashback Rey Mysterio as well. You know, we have the fix-up arms over here. A lot of people still want me to switch out the shoulders. I don't know. I like both ways, so it's not a big deal to me, but that is pretty much it for your Rey Mysterio Elite figure comparisons. You guys can kind of see how much identical they are, but I do like this one a little bit more. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys. Do you like the Elite 72 better or the Elite 67 slash 69? I can't remember. I, I cannot remember which one is which. I think this is Elite 69. I, I, I can't freaking remember, man. So as far as Velveteen Dreams accessories are concerned, guys, we do get another North American 
Women's Championship. So this is our third, right? Or it's my third, at least. We did get this with the Elite 71 Adam Cole. Very nice championship. It'll never get old. I mean, this is a beautiful looking title in real life. Beautiful looking title in figure form. So I'm very happy to have this. If you guys missed on the Elite 71 Cole, you may want to pick up this dream just for the North American Championship alone. Maybe this figure will drop in price. Who knows about that? But here's the North American Championship. You get the interchangeable hands on the figure. He does come with a mic holding hand in his left and then a, you know, Velveteen Dream Randy Orton entrance hand on the right. And then he comes with these interchangeable choke slamming hands, which doesn't really make sense to me. But you know what? I guess I'll take it over anything else. We have the same glasses we got with the last Velveteen Dream figure, but this time they do have a little bit more detail. They have the white paint added to them with the black faces. And I like the white glass is better than the solid black so this is cool to see those you know those velveteen dream exclusive glasses and then he comes with a headband which does tie in the front so i guess you could tie this this could be the front or the back with you know whichever one you want you have his glasses logos all the way around the headband and it is the same exact colorway as the attire that he's wearing in this figure and that pretty much does it for his accessories you know we saw what it looked like on the figure out of the packaging you know he's already wearing the stuff so we know it fits we know it looks good on the figure and that is pretty much it for Dreams Accessories, guys. So now that we have covered Dreams Accessories, let's take a closer look at the Velveteen Dream himself. All right, guys, so diving into this Velveteen Dream figure, this controversial Velveteen Dream figure that everybody completely crapped on, including myself, when they first showed it on ringside. I think they even ended up deleting the picture on their Instagram page because it was getting so much flack. And I think it's, I mean, it, it makes sense why this figure would get flack. We had never seen him wear this attire to this point. It's not a very good good attire and uh, he's had so many great attires in the past so I think most of the flack was because the attire was so atrocious to begin with and not only that it's I mean it, this torso I just don't get what this torso is you got you guys know that a lot of people that bought that Velveteen Dream figure already switched out his torso with either the Kofi Kingston or the Shelton Benjamin torso because they felt it was way too jacked and it still is way too jacked it's it's he's not the size of, uh, of Triple H he's ripped up he's lean but he's not jacked. He doesn't have a lot of muscle mass as far as that is concerned. So I don't know why they choose to give him the Triple H torso. So that is something that is upsetting. So it is the Triple H torso. This is a newly molded torso. It is a shirt over the Triple H torso. You have the collar popped and everything. On the back you have the glasses logo with the little, you know, uh, thin material like sort of like a pantyhose material that would go over it with, you know, more details over it. That's what's going on on the chest. You have these little buttons and everything. I am not going to keep this torso on this figure. I'm definitely going to torso swap it, but I don't know what I'm going to do exactly. I'll probably end up, you know, switching it out for a Shelton Benjamin torso, switching out the arms. They gave him bigger arms this time around, I do believe. Last time he had the regular, like, you know, uh, Daniel Bryan arms in the darker skin tone, but this time they gave him the jacked Shelton Benjamin arms, so I don't know what's going on there. It's the exact same head sculpt as the last figure, so I think that's really all the things that kind of turned off this figure, and you know, literally, we saw this figure, and then two or three days later, we saw him debut this attire on NXT television and I don't need to bring up a picture of Velveteen because I know it looks just like him because I've actually done a video before where we broke down this head scan because it's the same one they used before and it looks just like him so I'm not going to complain about the head scan necessarily but it would have been cool to get a different hairdo or a different head sculpt for Velveteen Dream but I'm just not big on this attire I don't like it it's just very honky tonk man like and it just it doesn't fit man it looks odd and uh, he never I don't think he ever wrestled in this attire he just wore it on NXT television so, I don't know. It's, it's, it, I guess you could just be the judge, but this figure is on ball joints, I guess, because it is the Dean Ambrose leg mold, you know, the, the jean mold. It's the exact same jean mold that we've seen before. He does have the white shoes all over the figure. He does have, he has all these Velveteen Dream glasses logos all over his attire, and you know, the, that he, you know, the glasses he wears, they're iconic. He put them all over this, this uh, little blue suit here, and he does have the white boots and everything, and I don't know, man. It's just a very odd figure. I mean, the, the ab crunch is pretty solid and everything like that, but I, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of it, man. We're probably going to switch this out on action figure surgery or something, just kind of see what it looks like. But this is what we're stuck with, man. This is the Elite 72 Velveteen Dream. Whatever you guys think, if you guys love it, you know, go ahead and grab it, man. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not the biggest fan of it. However, you know, uh, everybody has their own deals. But that pretty much does it for the Velveteen Dream figure. I think that pretty much does it. You know, uh, it's just a solid blue color with the, the glasses logos over the top. Same head sculpt as Elite 67. Bigger Shelton Benjamin in arms and that pretty much it does it for this little review of the elite 72 velveteen dream figure itself so now that we've done that guys let's do an elite velveteen dream figure comparison and then we're gonna rank elite 
Series 72 from worst to best. So getting into the Elite Velveteen Dream comparison, guys, here is his first Elite on the left, and here is the Elite 72 on the right, and you guys will see it's literally the exact same head sculpt. I did obviously torso switch my Elite Series 67 Velveteen Dream with the Elite 63 Shelton Benjamin, and I like this much more than what Mattel gave us with the Triple H torso. I just don't see why people like that torso for their figure, so I had to switch it out here. It looks a lot better. It actually uh, looks better, too, if you use the Kofi Kingston torso, which I've seen a lot of people use, so that is another option. But here are the differences. Um, you guys can see the arm molds there and obviously the torso mold. I am definitely going to try the torso switch again, probably, and we'll see how that looks just to see if maybe we can fix the figure, maybe put a, uh, you know, a custom shirt over here onto this torso over here. Maybe it'll tie it in. Maybe somebody can remake this shirt for this figure. I'm not sure. We'll have to see about that. But uh, yeah, the, the first dream was a lot better in my personal opinion. You can switch out the torso. It'll save the figure. It's actually something that he wore. It's like his debut attire. This one is something he's actually worn, but it's not, uh, I don't know. It's just not a flattering attire. And I'm just not a fan of it, dude. So let me know down in the comment section below. Do you like this Velveteen dream figure or do you think that it's pretty ugly? Let me know down in the comment section below. But now that we have compared Velveteen Dreams Elite Figures, guys. Let's go ahead and rank Elite Series 72 from worst to best. Alright guys, it is that time of the video where we are going to rank Elite Series 72 from worst to best. You guys know that is how we do the Elite sets. Once we get to the last two figures of the set to review, we do break down every single figure and I give you my personal opinion on the worst to best ranking. So let's go ahead and get started in our ranking. At number 6, guys, I think it's pretty obvious what is going to come in at number 6 and it is the Velveteen Dream. Just overall this figure was very underwhelming when it first showed. I mean, we all knew that it was probably going to be the worst figure. I'm just not excited for it. You know, the attire is just not our favorite. We, we, there's so many be better attires that he's worn to the ring. And for them to pick this one that we've never seen, and then for him to come out on TV in the figure form, and then, you know, the torso looks weird. It's just the jacked on. It's just not a very flattering figure. And it's a re-release head scan. I mean, it's pretty obvious why this is coming in at the bottom, but you guys had to see it. Velveteen comes in at number six. Now, coming in at number five, guys, this was actually pretty difficult for me, but ultimately, I had to decide on the man, Becky Lynch, and I do love Becky Lynch. You guys know I'm a huge Becky Lynch fan and everything, and the double jointed knees are definitely a step up in improvement, but I think I would rather pose around the rest of the figures in the thing, and I think I'd rather have the rest of the figures in the wave, so I wanted to go with Becky Lynch at number five, and the only reason that is is because of the ankle pivot. Had they given her ankle pivot, if they updated the women's figures and gave them ankle pivot, she would easily, pro she would probably be top three easily so that is just something I wanted to point out the only reason she is here at number five is because of the ankle pivot they did not improve that at all so hopefully we see that improved in the in the future and uh, that will definitely make these women's figures better but this Becky Lynch figure is definitely one of my favorite women's figures in my collection it is just not good enough to beat out some of these other figures in the set coming in at number four guys this is another difficult one for me but I ultimately went with which one I like to pose around a little bit more so at number four I went went with my man Batista right here. Batista, I love this figure to death. I love that it's updated. I love the attire. I love the boots. I love all the new tattoos. I love the head sculpt and everything with it. But ultimately, I think that it kind of has like a weird thing like when standing him up. You guys see how his legs kind of want to like like shoot out or something? I don't know. It's just, uh, I don't know. It's just kind of odd. And uh, the larger knee pads kind of make him harder to pose around. His waist is not, not, not really loose, but not as tight as I'd like it to be. And so uh, I, I just ultimately wanted to go with a different figure for my number three spot, but Batista does come at number four, and it is a great figure. I love this Batista figure. It just kind of shows you how strong Elite Series 72 is because this figure is so bomb, but it comes in at number four, but Batista is coming in at number four, the animal, and uh, we'll see how the top three shakes out. Coming in at number three, guys, pretty obvious what we're going to go with, and it is this Rey Mysterio. I do love this Rey Mysterio figures. All of his figures that are molded like this are fantastic, and I'll keep saying it till the end of time. They're just so fun to pose around, man. He's a small guy. His figures have really tight joints, and anybody that poses around their figures and plays with their figures will tell you the same thing. They just feel so great. Like, when you're holding a Rey Mysterio Elite, especially these newer ones, they're just fantastic, and I, I will collect these to the end of time. I love Rey Mysterio. Definitely one of the greatest cruiserweights of all time. Definitely the greatest mask of all time, and he's running around, and he's looking good here with this new Elite 72. So, if you guys want to grab this one, I would definitely recommend this Rey to anyone. So, how will the top two shake out, guys? We're going with two of my favorite guys. We have Buddy Murphy, who's one of my favorites, and then we have Roderick Strong, who's easily just my top guy in NXT behind 
Finn Balor, and then of course Adam Cole up there as well, but both two of my favorite superstars to watch in the ring. Who is going to get the top spot? Is it going to be Buddy Murphy, or is it going to be Roderick Strong? Which one is it going to be, guys? It's going to be number two is Buddy Murphy. Now, obviously, this one is kind of tough because ultimately, I think I had to go up to Head Sculpt, and I think that I like the Roderick Strong Head Sculpt more than I like the Buddy Murphy Head Sculpt, but I do love a lot of things going on with this Buddy Murphy. You could literally pick either one. I love the shorts mold. They made these. I didn't do this enough in the review, but they made this really pop, like pliable right here, guys. Very easily molded plastic right here. You can bend the knee with no problem, and it's just a really strong figure. The only thing preventing me from putting it at the top is the head sculpt. That this head sculpt looked a little bit more like Buddy Murphy. Maybe if the, the hair color or something was a little bit better, he'd probably be at the top spot, but this is a fantastic figure. I love this figure to death, and it's very fun to pose around and things like that, and uh, they really did a good job molding this. Mattel, you get a great handshake. This is definitely going to be in the top figures of the year with this new crotch piece, with these new legs and everything. It's just a really strong figure, but I had to put my boy Roddy at the top. You know, he doesn't come with the cloth t-shirt or the North American Championship. However, uh, we finally get a Roderick Strong, and the head sculpt is perfect. I think that, you know, the Undisputed Era hands are a game changer. I love the way he poses around. He's in the War Games attire, which is the camo attire that we all love, and the only thing literally that I could probably rank over to him is the torso choice, but uh, it's not a huge deal, you know, it's not the biggest deal, the torso, it's not like Velveteen Dream, it's not so bad that you just don't even want to look at the thing, so I went with Roger Strong on my number one, and Buddy Murphy at my number two, Rey Mysterio at my number three, Batista at my number four, The Man at number five, and Velveteen Dream at number six. Comment down below what your ranking is, guys, I would love to comment down below with you and, you know, interact with you, what figures you think are the best. Please let me know down in the comment section below, because I would love to know which of these Elite Series 72 figures you think is the ultimate one. But that pretty much does it for this 2-in-1 Elite 72 figure review, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Ultimately, I would not recommend the Velveteen Dream figure. I just honestly cannot tell you guys with a clear conscience that I would recommend it. You guys, you know, if you're, if you're a huge Velveteen Dream fan and you want to get it, you know, you want every figure of Velveteen Dream or you want to fix it up, make it a little bit better, then by all means, if you're missing a North American Championship, I would recommend getting a second Adam Cole from Elite Series 71 with the screaming head sculpt over this figure. And then for Rey Mysterio, I would highly recommend it. Very fun to pose around and a lot better than his other figures that we've gotten recently. I say a lot better, it's just better. It's not a lot better. Those other two figures of his that we have gotten here lately are freaking fantastic as well. But the Elite 72 Rey is ultimately better. I had a ton of fun reviewing Elite Series 72 and ranking them from worst to best was a lot of fun as well. But definitely guys, if you did not pick up any of these figures and you'd like to grab any of the ones you saw in today's video, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS. You will save 10%. I think they also have a Halloween sale still going on right now, and they have some epic things up for pre-order. Definitely go grab all those things. Get in on all that. Get, get some epic action figures and freaking freshen up the collection, man. But I believe that is going to do it for this two-in-one figure review on the Elite Velveteen Dream and Rey Mysterio figures. We do still have the WrestleMania 36 Elites that we are going to review tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. We have Matt Hardy, Kofi Kingston, Booker T, and Mick Foley, and I have some epic things underway as well, and we're going to put all these hoes into surgery, including the WrestleMania Elites as well. So we're going to have all these figures, the WrestleMania Elites, we're going to touch them all up if they need it, and you guys are going to witness that on an epic epic long episode of WWE action figure surgery. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.